Welcome to the presentation on Soil Vision Soils. My name is Sean Johnson, and I look forward to giving you an overview of this unique module of the Plaxus LE software. As an overview, we will provide a brief introduction to the Soil Vision Soils software. And given overview of the purpose of the software and to cover some of the new features, Soil Vision Soils are designed to post-process laboratory data into a mathematical format useful for numerical modeling. It is this designed particularly to estimate unsaturated hydraulic soil properties and is a useful tool to aid to the application of unsaturated soil mechanics to numerical modeling. The Soil Vision package was the first software package ever offered by Soil Vision Systems back in 1997. It remains a unique product for supporting the numerical modeling of unsaturated soils. The software contains a database of over 6,000 unsaturated seepage soil properties, as well as eight methods for theoretical estimation of soil water characteristic curves. The software also contains six theoretical models of estimating unsaturated hydraulic properties for seepage modeling. The software represents an essential tool for anybody applying the theories of unsaturated soil mechanics toward numerical modeling. The basic soil information stored by the system is the grain size information. The soil water characteristic curve, the hydraulic connectivity, consolidation properties, shear strength, thermal properties, and contaminant transport material properties, such as diffusion and advection. For the unsaturated hydraulic properties, there exist methods for both theoretical estimation of the unsaturated hydraulic properties or methods of data mining the database to determine realistic properties. The basic information stored by the package involves a material name, its GPS location, as well as classification information and the units utilized for the sample. The initial material state can be stored as well. Grain size information is also stored in the software. Classification, percent sizes, and statistics are calculated automatically based on the fundamental grain size information. Diameter values are also automatically calculated. There exist both unimodal and bimodal equations for fitting the grain size curve. The fitting curves are used for subsequent estimation of the soil characteristic curve, as well as to calculate divisions between the particle sizes. The grain size information can be graphed both on screen and reported in a PDF format for high quality output. The divisions between silt sand and gravel are adjusted based on the classification system, which is selected in the model. Here we have a particle size, a sieve particle passing, a uh, grain size distribution curve as shown in the figure. The soil water characteristic curve is the fundamental water storage function required for modeling unsaturated soils. There exist nine methods for fitting the soil water characteristic curve to the laboratory data. There is also a database of over 40,000 soils with experimental data, which have already been fit into two equations. 
The database can be therefore mined for soils which are similar to the current soil based on the classification or grain size information. There are also five methods available in the software internally for theoretically estimating the soil water characteristic curve based on the sample grain size property and grain size distribution, as shown in the figure. The extensive database included with soil vision soils can be mined for finding similar soils to the grain size properties. This provides the end user with the amount of possible variation in the soil water characteristic curve. Unsaturated hydraulic conductivity information is also stored in the system. The saturated hydraulic conductivity is typically measured in the laboratory or in the field and can be recorded separately. The saturated hydraulic conductivity can be estimated from a number of estimation methods built into the software that estimate based on sample data. It is also possible to estimate the hydraulic conductivity unsaturated curve by six different estimation methods. These estimation methods are largely based on the soil water characteristic curve. More recently, an importer tool to bring the GINT data has been added to the software. This tool can import shear strength properties at Berg limits and sieve data from GINT. You can see uh, the use case in the figure attached. More recently, a database has been donated from Arizona State University, which is now included in the Soil Vision da Soils dataset. This dataset contains the water characteristic curve data from across the United States of over 31,000 soils. The soils are GIS referenced and useful for data mining efforts. You can see in the screenshot provided a number of the specific soils in the database as well. In summary, the Soil Vision Soil Tools provides an estimation method for estimating unsaturated hydraulic properties of unsaturated soils. The database may be mined for estimating unsaturated hydraulic properties. Therefore, the tool provides a practical method of applying unsaturated soil mechanics in the area of groundwater seepage modeling. That concludes my discussion of soil vision soil properties. Thank you.